Glory to God. Lift up those hands to heaven, please. Let's honor the Lord this morning. Yes, Lord, we thank you for the gospel that's been preached to us by your sons and daughters this morning, not by power, not by might, not by human intellect, but by the spirit of the living God. Thank you, Lord, because the force of the Holy Ghost will make a difference for somebody this week. The anointing of your spirit doth rest mightily on your people this week. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because you are filling up the gap and giving, providing all that is needed this week for sounds of victory to echo within the walls and chambers of the habitation of your people this week. We're grateful to you. We're grateful to you. We're grateful to you. Thank you, Lord. Dear Lord Jesus, we receive this morning the spirit of wisdom and revelation, the knowledge of you flowing freely unhindered by any satanic force. We receive eyes that see and ears that hear and a wise understanding heart. We boldly declare the word of God shall be taught. Hope shall come alive. Faith shall come alive. Your people shall lay hold upon that which belongs to them. And I thank you, Heavenly Father, because your people are breaking out of every concealment, containment, and limitation of the enemy in the name of Jesus. That which seems so dark will suddenly, suddenly the light of God will break through that circumstance in the name of Jesus. That which seemed impassable, suddenly a way will be made in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, yes. This shall be a week of suddenlies. Suddenly the thing clicked. Suddenly the way was made open. Suddenly the situation changed. Suddenly the money came. Suddenly there was a shift in the gradient of my health. This shall be a week of suddenlies. Suddenlies come to people who stand. Who don't quit. So receive strength. Receive grace. Maintain your stand. Don't change your confession. Suddenlies come to people who stand. You stand your way into a suddenly. This shall be a week of suddenlies. Suddenly, lack turns to abundance. Suddenly you look for that disease. You will not find it there. Suddenly the situation that looks so locked up. Opens up. My God. The Lord delights to do these things. The Lord delights to do these things. Suddenly a situation that was so complex. Will be simplified. I see the Lord of hosts going ahead of you this week. Softening the grounds for you. Softening the grounds. This shall be a week of suddenlies. You've been standing and standing and standing, believing and believing and believing. It shall be converted to a suddenly. I see suddenly water coming out of a rock, oil out of a flinty stone. The wilderness turned in the name of Jesus Christ to a watered garden. Springs coming out in the desert. You are for a sign and a wonder. I and the children the Lord has given unto me. Therefore signs and wonders. That's who you are. You will not be consumed. You will not be swallowed up. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will not just survive. You will thrive. You will flourish. You will do well. You will make progress. There are workings of miracles for you in the name of Jesus. Your mind is being enlightened. The confusion is leaving your mind now. You're understanding the mind of the Lord. You're understanding the will of the Spirit in that circumstance. You are giving that circumstance what it demands. And you're seeing a supernatural breakthrough. Your mind is being visited with fresh inspiration and thoughts. How could Peter in his wildest dreams have thought that the place of his failure would become the place of his greatest success? Receive strength. Receive grace. Receive grace to obey the Lord anyway. To obey the Lord anyhow. Your ears are open to hear. Your heart is open to comprehend. Your eyes are open to see. This shall be a week of suddenlies. My God. I'm seeing somebody seeing abundance everywhere. Help everywhere. Favor everywhere. The Lord delights to do these things, you know. You know. He delights to do these things. He's going to show up for you this week. Oh, he's going to show up for you this week. He will manifest himself to you in the name of Jesus. He'll show himself strong for you in the name of Jesus. It shall be a week of suddenlies. 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 
You know conversion? When hard becomes easy. When tough becomes soft. By the hand of Yahweh. There are workings of miracles. Lift up your hands to heaven. There are workings of miracles in this house. There are workings of miracles. There are workings of miracles. Glory to God. Glory to God. The angel of the Lord converted the place of Hagar's weeping and hopelessness and helplessness. The place where she was assigned for her son, she had assigned for her son to expire and die, was the place the Lord, by his angel, assigned to be a place of provision. So shall it be, and for many under the sound of my voice now, that this week, the places where the enemy assigned for your failure, he said, this is it. The Lord said, no, this is not an end. It's just a bend. For on the hill of the Lord, you'll see fresh supply. In that place where you think your strength is exhausted, you'll see new strength. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your hands. There are workings of miracles all over this place. There are workings of miracles. All kinds of miracles. Healing, material miracles, financial miracles, movements in the spirit in the name of Jesus. I see the hand of God's favor extended towards somebody this week in the name of Jesus. Where they had counted you out, God is counting you in. Where they had counted you out, God is counting you in. They are workings of miracles. Pray in other tongues a little bit. Frato holy basikilete. Pray in other tongues a little bit. Sana hoko said, they are workings of miracles. They are workings of miracles. The Lord delights to help his people. 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 Help is coming from, help is coming from straight. Strange places. Help is coming from strange places. Sama hokilima. Help is coming from strange places. Mara kore bali kisiaba. Mara kaseke sekiato. Makaseke teri balangoro sekite. Help has come from strange places. From strange places. Woo we. Woo we. Ooh, eh. Help us come from strange places. From strange places. From strange places. Help us come from strange places. Help us come from strange places. Pray in other tongues or receive the help of God today. Receive the help of God today. You will not be disgraced. You will not be disappointed. Manto robo seketere balakando zokotore balakande. Eh, brado, 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 brado. Give me Isaiah 41. Isaiah 41 verse 27. Let me just. Isaiah 41 verse 27. Prato hoba kiavas. I see the Lord filling in the gap for you. That which remains between you and your manifestation. I see the Lord this morning bridging the gap for you. As you look to him, he'll just bridge the gap. You look to him, let him bridge the gap. I see the Lord filling in the space for you. That which remains for your manifestation. I, I see the Lord. That which remains for your harvest. I see the Lord filling the gap for you. Oh, you know that you are helped of the Lord. Help has come your way this week. Strange help. A strange order of help. A strange order of help has come your way this week in the name of Jesus Christ. Help has come. Help has arrived. Help has come. Like a furious rider. Oh, I hear my heart. Levels have changed. <laughs> I hear my heart. I'm shifting the place of my people's feet. The Lord delights to help his people. Now look at this. The first shall say to Zion, Behold. Behold them. You will see your help, oh. You will behold your help. Your help will not pass you by. Receive eyes that see. Receive ears that hear. Receive a wise understanding heart. Though it may not be conventional. Though it may not come the way you are used to. But thou shalt see your help. And you will recognize your help. And you will not bypass it. It may not come in conventional means. It may not come the way God is used to doing it. But it shall surely come. The first shall say to Zion, behold, behold them. And I will give to Jerusalem one that bringeth good tidings. Lift up your hands to heaven now. Let the angel of the Lord favor by name. Walk up and down the annals of everyone who 
is connected to this vision and mission. Anywhere in the world. And give to you. Give to you that one that bringeth good tidings. You know what good tidings are? Good news. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You don't need more than one. You don't need many. You don't need many. You don't choose for yourself the quality of help. You don't choose for yourself the container of help, the vessel for help. But may your eyes be open to see, for it shall surely come to pass. Receive this week. I will give to Jerusalem one, just one, that bringeth good tidings. You thought it was an end, my sister. May I announce to you, by divine decree, it is not an end, it is a bend. When Elijah was sent to Cherith, and Cherith was sustaining him by the mouth of, by the mouth of a beak of a ravenous bird. When the brooks of waters of the brook Cherith dried up, Elijah thought it was an end, but it was a bend. It was a miracle, a transition to another level of supply. For your God is El Shaddai. It was another level of supply. For your God is El Shaddai. I hear in my heart, the surprise is here. The supply is here. Major good news has come to your house. I don't know why our precious sister that was giving the announcement said it's going to be a first time miracle for somebody. I don't know. We didn't sit down. We didn't talk. I don't know. I don't interfere in these things. It's not my custom to interfere. But the first shall say to Zion. Somebody will have cause to say, this is the first time God has visited me this way. He's going to come in a way that you are not accustomed to. I said he's going to come in a fashion this time that you are not accustomed to. Somebody will have cause to say, this is the first time God did it for me this way. When a child brings supply, receive. When a stark heathen is used to bless you, receive. For this is the quality of help that will come to you. It will not be for price or for reward. You will swim with the sharks. You will come out without a shark bite. You will tread in forbidden zones and come out clean. Somebody will have cause to say, this is the first time God has manifested himself to me this way. I've never seen God supply this way before. I've never seen this kind. I've never seen this kind. Nobody has come to me at night, hurriedly, at night, and given me the key to a car and disappeared. Nobody has done that. At night. Anyhow, anyway, I learned a long time ago, you don't choose the vessel. You don't choose the means. Let God be God anyway. Pastor Mary always says, they don't teach God how to be God. Don't be too righteous to receive. Don't be too holy to, be, to receive. Put your mind in neutral. But I tell you to go, 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 is everywhere in this house. Everywhere in this house. Everywhere in this house. Now that we've gotten ourselves to this place, Lord, help us. <laughs> Lift up those hands to heaven. Good tidings. Good news. Good tidings. And my people shall never be ashamed. And my people shall never be ashamed. And my people shall never be ashamed. God is laughing over you. So you're going to laugh this week. God is singing over you. So you're going to sing this week. God is sitting on something that is sitting on you. So you shall walk in freedom this week. Upwards and forwards. That is your trajectory. <laughs> Upwards and forwards is your trajectory. It's a force of, it's a force of increase. It's a force of increase. 
You see, this prayer we have prayed, many, there are many testimonies of increase, I know. There are many testimonies of harvest. But I'm telling you the truth, the main ones are going to start. You see, September, October, November, and December for this church, for the past decade plus, have been decoration months. All these ember months where people just come here, I don't know anything about that nonsense. All I know is that September, October, November, December are decoration months for you. See, every month is going to take you a step higher, a step higher, a step higher, a step higher, a step higher. Until you walk in full fulfillment. September, October, November, December are decoration months for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Things change by the prophesying of the prophet. Oh. So please don't be looking at me like your Ogmono soup that's expired for two weeks. Lift up those hands to heaven. It's all here. The currents of God's grace are all over here. Just lift up your hand and catch it. Take it. Take it. Take it! Catch it. Take it! It's words that change destinies. Oh. Somebody's going to have cause to say this is the first time God has manifested to do something in my life like this before. And it won't be the last. It may be the first, but it won't be the last. Thank you, Lord. All I know is that you will rejoice. You will not just survive. You will thrive. And you will flourish. In Jesus' name. Now give the Lord a shout of praise. Glory! 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 We fixed it. And we'll fix it again. We fixed it. In our Wednesday service, the Lord asked me to do something. And I'll do it again now. Amen. We're going to fix our money, right? Are you ready to fix your money? All right, get out your ATM card, your purse, your billfold, your wallet, your bag, whatever it is you have. It's a contact point to your money, to your supply. Let's fix our money. Since favor is in the house. You know who favor is? He's one of the four angels attached to this house. Since favor is in the house, we might as well let him do his job. The Lord delights to help his people. Now, I curse every siege of hell against your supply. In the name of Jesus Christ! ATM card, purse, wallet, whatever. Or you have a bit of money that you can use as a contact point, whatever it is. This one, this is fixing the supply now. Fixing the money supply. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak the blessing of the Lord over your supply. It will flow and flow and flow and flow. And flow and not cease in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I come against every siege of hell against your supply right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command that, sie that siege of hell to cease now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the flow, the flow, the flow, the flow, the flow, the flow. Let someone, let a system of this earth respond to you. Let men, the will of men yield and bend toward you. Let the heart of men open to you. The heart of kings, princes, nobles, great ones of this earth open to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right now, let the systems of this earth, let human beings be under pressure to do you good in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever belongs to you, wherever it is, I release it now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now favor, now favor, now favor, now favor, now favor. Move in the name of Jesus Christ. Move in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go to the north, go to the south, go to the west, go to the east of the ends of this earth. Trouble the waters in the name of Jesus. Trouble the systems of this earth in the name of Jesus. Put pressure on the will of men in the name of Jesus Christ. This one will not miss target. This one will not miss your house. This one will not overshoot your boundaries. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command the flow now in the name of Jesus Christ. You'll find it in hidden places. You'll find it in unlikely places. You'll find it in unexpected places. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. There's a mighty supply. There 
there's a mighty supply. There's a mighty supply. Marabo Sakataya. And there's a mighty surplus. There's plenty left over in store. The angels of the mighty supply have arrived on your account. Oh, Makaraba, there are workings of miracles right now. In your work of your hands, in your finances, in your businesses, I see a strange troubling of the waters, the economic waters on your account, a strange troubling of systems of this earth, economic systems, governmental systems, political systems have been troubled on your account in the name of Jesus. Kings, princes, nobles, rulers, great ones of this earth, their hearts are opening to you in the name of Jesus. Let the winds of remembrance blow. Let the winds of remembrance blow. Let the winds of remembrance blow in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I've been young, now I am old. Yet have I never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. The young lion may go out and come back hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall want no good thing. There's a mighty supply. And there's a mighty surplus money coming to me now in the name of Jesus. I will never be broke another day in my life. The broke days are over, gone forever in the name of Jesus. My, 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 my. My, 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 my. Something has broken in the spirit. Something has given way in the spirit. Something has yielded in the spirit. Watch and see it. Oh, watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Like wind blowing over chaff. Like wind blowing over smoke. Dispersing it to the ends of the earth. Never to be gathered. That is how you're going to see the things in front of you that seem impossible and impossible. Dissipating before your eyes. This will be a good week. Master of our Glory to God. If I will contend with thee that contend with you, I will save your children. I'll cause you to drink their blood like sweet wine. I'll feed you with their flesh like bread. I'll contend with they that contend with you. I'll save your children. They'll not fall free to pray, free, free, pray to the wickedness of this world. <laughs> the fake lion shall not devour them. For they are under the protection of the line of the tribe of Judah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. They that contend with you shall be as nothing. You will seek them and you will not find them. You will seek them and you will not find them. They that contend with you shall be as nothing. They shall be as smoke dispelled and dispensed by the wind. They shall be like chaff blown away by the wind. I speak instability. In irrecoverable. Irre 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 instability that cannot be recovered to your adversaries. I speak everlasting confusion and shame to your adversaries. Your adversaries shall be unstable without cure. They walk on slippery paths. They cannot gather their thoughts. As they gather, they scatter in their ranks. The plot they made cannot be hatched. The pits they dug, they fall in it. Sonia, 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 Sonia. Your story has changed. On this mountain, your story has changed. On this mountain, your story has changed. On this mountain, your story has changed. They thought it was the end for you, but it's a bend in the name of Jesus. 
They thought you were down, but they'll see you up in the name of Jesus. Lift up those hands to heaven. Lift up those hands to heaven. You're advancing. There are forces of advancement. There are forces of advancement. There are forces of advancement. There are forces of increase. That tame opposition receive the help of heaven to tame the untamable. Receive the help of heaven to tame the untamable. That which thought to swallow you up shall itself be swallowed. That which sought to swallow you up shall itself be swallowed. Glory to God. Glory to God. God sent a fish to discipline Jonah to swallow up a disobedient prophet. But the disobedient prophet became obedient in the belly of the fish. Then God judged the fish for swallowing his prophet. Sailor. So one little tweak of attitude can make God change. He sent a fish to discipline his prophet. His prophet in the gut of a fish repented and he judged the fish. He said, go and vomit my servant. Go and vomit my servant. As if he didn't send him. What is my servant doing in your belly? Go and throw him out. So you're out in Jesus' name. I said, so you're out in Jesus' name. God has given to you one that has come with good news. Thank you, Lord. Somebody prayed me into this in this second service. I certainly didn't plan it. Look at my notes here. Lift up your hands to heaven. Okay, let's see what we can do with 13 minutes. Let's see what we can do with 13 minutes. If not, just copy and paste first service. Ask your neighbor, did you come? Were you in first service? Ask your neighbor. Uh, if you are not in first service, copy and paste the message of first service. All right. Glory to God. Glory to God. Me, I'm happy. Oh, me, I'm happy. Oh, me, I, I'm just happy, man. Because good things have come to you this week. Oh, you're making progress this week. Glory to God forevermore. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Ido Kamo. Ido Kamo. Beta Do Kamo. Ido Kamo. Ido Kamo. Ido Kamo. Beta Do Kamo. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Rejoice forevermore. Glory. 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 don't come Suddenly, 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 you're going to see suddenly the landscape around your life has changed. Suddenly, something has shifted, something has yielded in your favor, something has shifted. My God in heaven, my God in heaven, my God in heaven. My God in heaven. My God in heaven. Wow, I tell you these three weeks, we have birthed progress. We have birthed something. These three weeks of intercession, we have birthed something. September, October, November, December, 
are promotion months for you. Step by step, you keep rising. Upwards and forwards. That's your trajectory. Step by step, you keep rising. Upwards and forwards is your trajectory. Usually when angels step in, you know, you can't control it again. You know, they're going to have their way anyway. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your hands and thank him anyway. Thank you, Lord. 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 The power of God is making things right in my body. The power of God is making things right in my mind. The power of God is making things right in my family. The power of God is working, making things right in the work of my hands. Glory to God. 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 The power of God is making things right. Glory to God. Glory! Waiting this, waiting these people they do now, they just they shout. See these kind of people. <laughs> Make you open the Bible now. Yeah, we have opened the Bible. And we are doing the Bible now. We are doing the Bible. Thank you, Lord. Lift up those hands. Thank you, Lord. Now, if you can receive it, the Lord is going to give you a treat this week. If you can receive it, the Lord is going to do something special for you this week. The Lord is mindful of you. The Lord is mindful of you. He's mindful of you. He's going to do, he's going to give you a treat this week. He's going, he's going to do something special for you this week. He's mindful of you. Full 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 of you. The goodness of God is coming towards me. Overtaking me. Chasing me. The goodness of God is coming towards me. It's overtaking me. It's chasing, it's, it's chasing me. Hunting me down. Chasing me down. My, 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 my. Thank you, Lord. 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 No misfortune in this anointing. No disappointment in this anointing. Every disappointment will end up to be a divine appointment. No loss in this, in this anointing. No, it's a blessing of increase. It's upon you. It's upon you. It's upon you. It's upon you. I say it's upon you. So what was that scripture now? Take it home. 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 The first shall say to Zion, Behold, behold. Behold, behold them. And I will give to Jerusalem. You put your name there. One that bringeth good tidings. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wave to the Lord. Wave to him. Wave to him. Wave to him. Wave to him. So I declare under this unction that as far as your home is concerned, it is all good news. All good news. All good news. Yes, 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 yes. And God is filling up the gap. That which stands between you and manifestation, the mercy of God is filling up the gap now. Some of you have been struggling in faith. And I see the mercy of God filling up the gap. Because sometimes when you look at the things required, it seems so huge. But I see the extension of God's mercy. Working of miracles, filling up the gap. Filling up the gap for manifestation. Thank you, Lord. Let's have the communion. Let's have the communion. 
Let's have the communion. The mercy of God is filling up the gap for you. The mercy of God is filling up the gap for you. The mercy of God is filling up the gap for you. That which stands between you and manifestation, the mercy of God is filling up the gap for you. That which stands between you and manifestation. I see rocks breaking today. Chains breaking. God is softening the grounds for you. Softening the grounds for you. Softening. Softening the grounds for you. Softening. Softening the grounds for you. Softening the grounds for you. You know, the Lord delights to do good things for his people. He's not a sad, mad, angry God. He's a good God. <laughs> He's a good God. He's not a sad, angry, pessimistic, bipolar God. He's a good God. He's a good God. Let's have the communion. Thank you, Lord. See, the communion people, I caught them today. I was in the spirit, they were in the flesh. Hey! They have been harassing me today. They are reaping the harvest. You see, they were not ready, they were in the spirit. That's what they thought. No, that's okay, they are in the spirit, they are in the spirit. They are doing good. First time miracle, ba? <laughs> Mama, first time miracle. I kept to time, Abby. If you provoke me, we'll start that service now. All right. Thank you, Lord. The commit. I hope the commit hasn't finished, but a karaoke. Bring a moon. I'm just happy, man. Man, you guys are going to be laughing this week. You guys are going to be singing this week. The surprise has arrived. Major good news in the name of Jesus. This is the first time, Lord, God has manifested himself like this. Man, to hold up They are mentioning your name in critical places now. They're dropping your name before kings right now. People are under pressure for your sake now. Somebody's sleep is leaving them for your sake now. In the name of Jesus. You can rise to your feet if you can. There's a prophetic mark on you. Every one of you, there's a prophetic mark on you. There's a prophetic mark on you. There's a prophetic mark of favor on you. A distinguishing mark of favor on you. The car that will crash will not enter. As a matter of fact, I just want to tell you my own personal intercessions for the past couple of years. I said, Lord, please. We don't want to hear any news of any air crash in Nigeria's airspace again. No matter how have mercy, deliver Nigeria from any news of any kind of an air crash. Military planes, civilian planes, choppers, aircraft, jet engines, propeller engines, any kind of aircraft. You know, we can release our faith. Are you here, somebody? You say, Pastor, <laughs> what do I care? I've never, I've never flown before. You will soon fly. Oh. Because some of the places you go to, you can't go there by donkey. You have to cross the ocean with six hours. Six hours from, from, from Nigeria to Europe. Almost another six hours before you enter continental United States. God knows how long to Australia. So you better be praying and wishing air travel as well right now because you are one of them. And I'm saying it again that before this year ends, somebody listening to me tonight, this morning, that has never traveled one day in your life, your feet will touch all continents of this earth. By the time we are entering 
and, and by the time we are winding up this year, God would have arisen and shown you so much mercy. In fact, some of you, this next four months, your tears of joy shall be your meat. Because I'm sensing the heavy visitations of the Lord. You know, when God arises for you, you know you don't deserve it. I see God arising for his people. Oh. Ridiculous arising. So you, you have to say, my tears are my meat. But they're tears of joy. Tears of wonder. That's what we're listening to today. The mercy of God. If you like, qualify for everything. Continue. If you like, make sure you deserve everything. Continue. I'd rather run on the mercy lane. My God, I'd rather run on the mercy lane. It is not of him that willeth, of him that runneth, but it's of the Lord that showeth mercy. I'd rather be mercy made. Grace made. Treading on zones, in zones, that every time I'm, my feet are shaking, I know in my heart, Lord, I know like I know my name that I don't deserve this. But I, I just know you have just, you helped me come here so you help me survive this place and thrive in this place. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise God. My, my, my. Something's cooking my spirit. I feel like, I feel like I'm in front of a buffet that's ready to be served. I feel like telling you that the meal has been cooked. Uh, uh, the ingredients have been assembled. The meal has been cooked. I feel like telling you dinner is served. I feel like telling somebody, yeah, you don't have to wait for the meal anymore. The meal is hot and ready. And it's yours for the taking. Thank you, Lord. I know, Lord, that this communion table is blessed. It is your broken body. It is your shed blood. It is your life given for our lives. So your people partake today. There are workings of miracles. These words spoken shall literally take flesh in every life. Thank you, Lord, because there are distributions of your grace on this table today. Distributions of your grace and mercy, that which is needed, freely supplied. Suddenly, 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 suddenly. Somebody, somebody's going to say, have, have cause to say multiple times this week, my God, where did that come from? My God, where did that come from? Surprise, supplies. And I, I, can, I sense in my spirit that um, God is not just going to give you a handout. He's going to give you a hand up. Meaning that the nature of what is coming will change your level will change your level. It's not that God will give you a handout and you remain in the same level. But the nature of what is coming will change your level. Will change your level. Will change your level. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's, a, that's it. That's it. That's it. Stay with that song. Stay with that song. That's it. Now, please let's serve the communion to the brethren. As our custom is when you receive the broken body and shed blood of Jesus, just hold in your hand and prophesy. Wait for everybody to be served so we can eat and drink together. Just prophesy. However this thing has hit your spirit, just speak over your life as it's boiling your spirit. Speak over your life. Establish it. Establish it. Establish it. Thank you, Lord.
mercy of God over your family. I speak the mercy of God over your lineage. For your sake, your lineage is preserved. For your sake, your lineage is preserved. Because you have set your affection upon Yahweh. Your lineage is preserved in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak the mercy of God over you. I speak the mercy of God over your family. This mercy that was bought by the blood of the God man Jesus. I speak that mercy over you. I speak that mercy over your finances. I speak that mercy over your health. I speak that mercy over your business, your career. I speak that mercy, that mercy over the present season of your life. I speak that mercy over every contention of hell against your life that threatens your destiny. I rear up an altar of mercy for you today in the name of Jesus. You will not be swallowed up. You will not be defeated. You will not be consumed in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not become a satanic statistic in the name of Jesus Christ. I read upon altar of mercy. Mariako, let the mercy of God step in for you. Let the mercy of God, let the intercessions of the God man Jesus at the right hand of the throne of grace answer for you today. Let it turn the equation of that battle. Let it turn your feet away from any path of destruction. Let it deliver you from any satanic trap. Let it close any door the devil has opened. Let it keep open every door that God has opened for you. I read upon altar of mercy. I will not hear evil news from your house. No. I will not hear unfavorable news from your house. None of you shall be cut short. No destiny here shall be cut short. No siege or incantation of hell shall prevail over you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I rear up an altar of mercy for you. Hebrews 4.16 said, Come boldly to the throne of grace. The throne of love gives that throne where the God man has, his blood has been shed, his life has been given. That you might obtain, lay hold of as a prize, mercy, and find grace to help the time of need my brother my sister you will be mystified at how that disease will dematerialize you'll be shocked how that medical condition will be rectified you will see water coming out of a stone you will see a wilderness turn to a water garden you see oil coming out of a flinty stone. You see sustenance from on high. Provision from on high. Preservation. Deliverance. Protection from on high. I re up an altar of mercy for you. In the name of Jesus. You will not be consumed. You will not be swallowed up. That thing that looks like a siege of hell against your destiny shall not prevail against you. The thing that was set to disgrace you and annihilate you and finish you will become the platform upon which you'll be publicized and promoted and pushed forward. Thank you, Lord. You thank him for what you believe you have received. I believe it. I believe in Jesus. I believe in the Son of God. I believe that he died and he rose again. I believe that in his resurrection, my victory is complete. I believe. That's why I partake. I believe. I rise up a champion. I rise up a blessed man. I rise up a prosperous man. I rise up a success. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises itself against me shall, shall, every tongue that rises itself against me, I condemn it in the name of Jesus Christ. I rise up a victor. My name is Victory. Have you not heard? In case you don't know, let me announce to you. My name is Victory. Help me tell somebody on left and right. In case you don't know, let me announce to you. My name is Victory. I rise up victorious. I go forth a victor. 
Glory to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say, this is my month of increase. Say, the blessing of increase is upon me. Say, the Lord blesses me more and more. Me and everyone connected to me. Glory! 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 Lift up your hands to heaven. I will not hear evil news concerning you. Why? Because no evil shall proceed from your tabernacle. You are insulated. You are encased. You are preserved. Mercy speaks over you in the name of Jesus. You will take steps this week. None of your steps shall slide. You will not walk on slippery places this week in the name of Jesus Christ. You will take short steps in the name of Jesus. Your ears are open to discern the leading of the Lord. Your eyes are open to see which way to go. Your heart is open to discern the dealings of the Lord for you. You walk in victory this week. You will return again and again with testimony. Day by day you will testify. We seize September and hold it captive in the name of Jesus. September yields to us. September bows to us. September yields its precious fruit and treasure to us. Plenty corn, oil and wine in the name of Jesus. September is tame in the name of Jesus Christ. Your strength shall not fail you. The voice of lamentation and woe shall not be heard from your tabernacle. You are infused with strength. Listen, as you leave this service, you just discover the wisdom of God oozing out of you. You will find favor everywhere. You will discover by experience that nothing really can work against you. Everything is setting you up for something much better. Glory to God. If you believe that, give the Lord a shout of praise, somebody. If you believe that, give the Lord a shout of praise. Glory! Glory! Glory!